that sound, different sound. I like it. We got two. John, coming up here. Coming up in just a minute, we have two absolutely lovely, just lovely and just damn classy guests. We got Paul Bettany and Claire Foy are gonna be out here in just a little while for their new series on Amazon Prime called A Very British Scandal. And they're, they're, it is very scandalous and they're very British. And, and I can't wait for them to come out here and, and sound all smart and everything. It's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. um, hey, happy spring. It really feels like a beautiful, amazing spring day today. Yes. yes. Today was a great day. Incredible. You know? Yeah. The spring is all about hope and opening and upward and new possibilities. Right. How, how are you feeling today, John? I feel great. I, I walked in Central Park for the first time in a while. Wow. It was beautiful, man. We have this incredible park in New York City. Sure. Just, yeah. You can just go right there. It's a jewel. Yeah. It's like a European. Yes. Thing. Unbelievable. Can you walk around and have people not bother you now, now that you're like album of the year, John Baptiste? Absolutely not. <laughs> It's crazy. You know about that. I know. You know. I know. I, was I know. Like, I'm happy for you. I'm happy like, for you. Whoa. It's yeah. A shift. Yeah, it is a shift. It's yeah. Something yeah. different. Welcome to it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Any tips? Enjoy it. What? Any tips? Any that? tips? Yeah. Uh, grow a beard? I don't know. <laughs> cover it. Just cover Try it to up. enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> be nice. All right. Yeah. Yeah, be nice, unlike how you usually are, John. <laughs> Folks, the world is engaged in the battle of the generations. It's boomers versus millennials. It's millennials versus Gen Z. It's Gen X versus... Well, nobody really cares about Gen X. <laughs> According to new research, relations between the youths and the not-so-youthly are tense because there's a heated debate over which generation has it worse. Though most in the U.S. say young adults today face more challenges than their parents' generation. And based on episodes of euphoria that I've seen, <laughs> young people today have it very hard despite being bizarrely attractive. I remember a time when high school students looked like this. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, wait a second. Why are there two photos of Jacob Elordi up there? One of them's supposed to be me. <laughs> the study found that the youths have it tougher in a variety of categories, including saving for the future, paying for college, and buying a home. So this is only an issue for young people who like knowing things, having things, and knowing where to have those things. <laughs> and the youngs are especially peeved about the home buying market where baby boomers and millennials are in a housing war and boomers are winning because they have more cash to win bidding wars. Millennials don't have any cash. Evidently, they just keep Venmoing each other the same $200, and somehow, <laughs> that's keeping our economy afloat. It's a miracle. I don't know how it works. But boomers do have a plan to transfer the wealth of their generation to millennials in increments of $5 every birthday. <laughs> but being young has always been hard, unless you make really safe career choices like improv. So, <laughs> is it really tougher for millennials than it is for boomers to explore this issue? Please welcome my writer and certified young person, Eliana Kortler. Eliana Kortler, everybody. Eliana, thank you. Lovely to see you. Please, have a seat. Yeah. It's, it's really, it's great to be here on behalf of millennials, Steve. The children must be heard. Children? Um, Eliana, at this point, you gotta be like 20... I, uh, don't say it on TV. Okay, what year were you born? 1990, none of your business. <laughs> Eliana, explain this to me. Why do you have a buzzer? Because this is a contest between the generations. It's not a contest. Wrong. Point for me. Where did you even get that? Uh, the internet. You heard of it, Grandpa? <laughs> How old do you think I am? A lady never tells. Okay, Eliana, do millennials really have it so hard finding places to live? Do you know how competitive the housing market is right now, Steve? No, that's why I asked you about it. It's so competitive that 90% of millennials are willing to buy a home sight unseen. Wow. Yes, and even when you try to see a house, it's a nightmare. I went to meet my agent for a house tour, they put a bag over my head, threw me in the back of a van, and wouldn't let me go until my family wired them a down payment? <laughs> Eliana, I, I, I'm pretty sure you were kidnapped. I don't know. 
maybe. The dungeon was open concept, so I did put in an offer. OK, OK, all right. Well, that's fine. That doesn't sound good. But rising prices are also hard for older folks, too. Some older Americans are selling their houses to pay for retirement and then having to get roommates. Oh, I'm aware, Steve. My fiance's mom has started jokingly asking if she can live in our guest room. For real? Yes, that is a real thing that's happening to me. <laughs> Was she joking? Am I laughing? <laughs> well, okay, if she's moving in, then you're gonna need a house with a guest room. You know what? Here's what you do, a little friendly advice. You are really good at your job, okay? You deserve a raise. You need to go to your boss and ask for more money. Can I have more money? No. Eliana Cortler, everybody. We'll be right back with Claire Foy and Paul Bedney.